Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an absolutely mind-blowing topic to discuss. The Manhattan Project and the science behind the atomic bomb. Join me as we dive deep into the fascinating world of nuclear physics and explore how this groundbreaking technology forever changed the course of history. Before we begin, let's get a quick overview of the Manhattan Project. It was a top secret research and development initiative during World War II. Its mission? To develop the first nuclear weapons and end the war. Led by the United States, the project involved an incredible collaboration of scientists, engineers, and military personnel. Now, let's understand the science behind this explosive device. The heart of the atomic bomb lies in the process called nuclear fission. Imagine an atom as a tiny, powerful nucleus at the center, surrounded by even tinier electrons. During nuclear fission, a large and unstable nucleus like uranium-235 or plutonium-239 absorbs a neutron causing it to split into two smaller nuclei and releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. Notice how I specifically said uranium-235 because this is an isotope of uranium um, and it is uh, a special type of isotope of uranium in which it can sustain a nuclear chain reaction which, what, which is what we wanted for this um, atomic bomb. Here is a simplified representation of the nuclear fission reaction. As the nucleus absorbs a neutron, it becomes unstable and splits into two daughter nuclei and some free neutrons. Now that we understand the basics of nuclear fission, Let's explore how scientists harnessed this process to create a powerful chain reaction in an atomic bomb. Inside the bomb, there are two subcritical masses of fissile material like enriched uranium or plutonium, which are unable to sustain a chain reaction on their own. Here are the subcritical masses. They need to be brought together quickly to initiate a rapid, self-sustaining chain reaction. So, how do they trigger this chain reaction? Enter the neutron initiator. At the core of the atomic bomb, there is a small sphere made of a material like beryllium surrounded by a shell of conventional explosives. When the conventional explosives detonate, they compress the beryllium sphere, causing it to emit a burst of neutrons. These neutrons, in turn, bombard the subcritical masses, causing them to reach their critical state and initiate the chain reaction. As the chain reaction progresses, billions of fission reactions occur almost instantaneously, releasing an enormous amount of energy. But what happens next? How does this tremendous release of energy translate into a devastating explosion? The chain reaction generates intense heat, causing the surrounding material to vaporize into a superheated plasma. The rapid expansion of this superheated plasma creates a shock wave, which is what we see as the mushroom cloud in a nuclear explosion. The blast wave and the intense radiation are what make nuclear explosions so incredibly destructive. And that, my friends, is a simplified explanation of how the atomic bomb in the Manhattan Project worked. It's essential to remember that this technology, while all inspiring in its scientific complexity, has also brought devastating consequences and changed the world forever. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with others who might find it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on history and science. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.